So you can see the uh, number of cars now. There must be sort of about 10 cars, including the police. So, uh, yeah, something is, uh, is going on. So, uh, looks like uh, a few of them are waking the, making their way down to the sea. And good morning. Welcome back to a brand new video. So it's the actual crack of dawn. Um, the day after England um, played the Netherlands. So it's Thursday. Um, and it's about 5 o'clock in the morning. And it's absolutely dead. So we're going to have a, a bit of a look around town. See what it's like. And see what's going on. And if anybody's even up um, at this time in the morning. So yeah, come and join me on this uh, bit of a morning walk. So we've been down this route before and um, if you remember the other videos I've done very early in the morning the only people that are up is uh, the cleaners and uh, I just want to say they do a fantastic job they always keep the streets clean um, so hats off to them and imagine you know after people have been uh, partying away and things it would be a, a bit of a mess so yeah they do a they do a great job so we're gonna have a Bit of a look, see if they've already been out um, and how uh, how bad the town is. But yeah, not like they, uh, they do a great job. So this is uh, always gets really busy at night. You've got the walkabout, bar 19, um, all sorts of pubs, the crazy horse, and uh, yeah, it's always a it's always a good one. This one um, for nightlife. And it actually looks uh, quite clean. Someone's had a bit of cock and burger and a, a pizza late last night celebrating. And, uh, yeah, the only sort of people I've sort of seen out at the moment is uh, I think there's sort of two or three. I think one of them was uh, sadly homeless, and another one um, was still a bit intoxicated. So we'll, uh, we'll move on a little bit further, go past uh, Yates's um, and head a little bit into town. Looks like it's uh, really quiet. I don't know what I'm doing up at this time in the morning. I should be asleep but there you go. So just a bit of news for you as well. There's, um, there's a pub in Cleveland um, and it's called the Victory Pub. So it's been closed down for, uh, for over a year now and they're actually looking for new owners to take it over. So if you're interested in running your own pub in the, uh, the link in the description uh, maybe you can take over the victory so I'm not too sure what the criteria is but yeah if you fancy having a go running your own pub and it's a great little pub um, in Cleveland uh, have a look in the description and uh, yeah get, uh, get putting your application in and we've got Santander over there getting uh, another revamp I think they've had uh, sort of two or three over the past few years. So I was like they were getting a, another revamp. And uh, a bit of a story actually. I popped over to um, to B&M's um, last night. And I grabbed some mealworms. And the reason being, you know, I thought, I've got this little hanger pop in the garden. And I put a, a bag of these mealworms in, like the pound bag. And the bloody greedy buggers, they eat one a day. So yeah, I ended up getting... Uh, a huge great bag of, uh, of meal ones for the birds. Yeah, they're, they're greedy little things, but I think it's uh, got breeding time, so you don't mind that. And how quiet is town? You see, there's a uh, not a soul around. You see the uh, iconic tower in the distance there. And uh, just come back down to uh, down to the street here. And you can see there's uh, there's nobody around in the town. To be fair, I haven't seen any cleaners at the moment, but it doesn't look too bad for a for a busy night last night. And uh, yeah, I think some of the schools have broke up, so uh, town in a few hours is going to be uh, is going to be heaving again. So it just briefly popped onto uh, the very uh, beginning of Central Drive. 
for a, a morning walk. And uh, you see everything's uh, very quiet this morning. We got a uh, single police car probably uh, doing a bit of a, an inspection. He's slowing down. We got the uh, world famous Coral Island. It boasts uh, sort of a bar, food, entertainment, all sorts in there. And we've got Mickey Finn's, I don't think I've been in there either. I don't really do a lot of takeaways. So I'm not a really a good judge of character or can't really give you a, a lot of advice. But yeah, another another one that's been there for a, for a while. Mickey Finn's traditional fish and chips. Yeah, so we're not gonna we're not gonna go uh, up Central Drive. I think everyone knows what's up there and what the area is like. So we're gonna pop onto the promenade. Oh look, see if there's anything uh, new, uh, new come up. So let me just show you that one as well, the, uh, the old police station that's been filmed many a time. That'll be a, an interesting one when they eventually knock that one down and make room for the uh, brand new theme park, which will be uh, situated straight ahead, as you, can, as you can tell, straight ahead there. That's where it's all going to be. So this one brings back uh, lots of memories and probably a lot of memories for for you as well. The uh, Bonnie Street Market and uh, that sold many things. It's always good to uh, to visit these little markets. You never know what you're gonna find. And uh, like I said, all that's in there now is a discarded pram at present. So yeah, exciting times. You can't sort of dwell on the past. It's exciting times. Um, for things to come in Blackpool, so it is on the uh, it is on the up. Uh, it looks like possibly something is going on over there. We've got the uh, the police, and three three cars. They do with the uh, the life boats. So, not too sure. What is it? It's about sort of six o'clock in the morning. I can't see anybody, anybody who injured or anything, but yeah, they're all, uh, they're all looking out to see. So there's, a, there's a guy on the, uh, the beach and he's using a metal detector. So I think that belongs to the, uh, to the, uh, the police that are searching for, uh, for something. And uh, I'll just show you the, uh, around it a little bit more. Yeah, so something. Uh, is certainly going on. I don't think he's anything to do with the uh, the sort of the police or the coast guard. He's probably just a, a normal metal detector looking for that uh, for that buried treasure. And uh, fingers crossed, he, uh, he finds something uh, of interest. You see uh, the pier as well the iconic big wheel how amazing does that look and it's actually more fantastic at night when it's all uh, when it's all lit up so there you see they're uh, they're getting ready for uh, possibly going out and, uh, still uh, looking out to sea so I'm not too sure I wonder if uh, Mr. Seagull knows what is going on if only they could uh, communicate, and uh, they could certainly fly out and see what's uh, see what's going on. See, so, yeah, there's something is out to see. Or the only thing I can see is a boy, which is uh, that green boy probably is all located a thousand meters out to sea. So that's the only thing I can uh, possibly see at the moment. So you can see is a. Uh, Old group now, they're look a bit sort of concerned on the faces. Again, they're looking out to sea. Like I said, uh, at present, can't see anything, but they're all uh, they're all ready um, to uh, sort of to go out, possibly. So it looks like now they're uh, they're combing the beach. 
so they, were, they are concerned. So it's not like a sort of person, but they're, they're combing the beach for something. Maybe you can just uh, just see in the uh, the distance in the sea. It looks like we've got the uh, sort of coast guard um, on a boat as well. So it's certainly something. Has possibly gone on. So uh, they've got the uh, the Coast Guard scouring the seas. So we'll stay for, uh, with this one for a few more minutes. Um, so there's a couple of Coast Guard vans. The police was out earlier on, uh, so they've gone now. Um, there's about sort of ten unmarked um, cars to do with the uh, Coast Guard and rescue. And the, uh, the Coast Guard are searching from um, sort of Central Pier, heading all the way um, towards South Pier. So, uh, yeah, the, like I said, the comb in the beach. So we'll stick around for a few more moments, just see if there's any more uh, developments with this one before we uh, move on and uh, end the video. And uh, we've got more police presence between sort of Central and uh, South Pier. The police presence and a lot of, uh, lot of activity there, more Coast Guards. Um, so there's more police turning up and I'll just pan the camera onto the beach again and you see they've gone right the way from North Pier combing the beach with a fine tooth comb all the way to South Pier so again it's unclear exactly what has happened uh, I'm just going to focus the camera a bit more on the uh, on the Coast Guard so it's unclear to this uh, What's happened? They just uh, the officer when I spoke to her earlier on just said they are looking for something. So they didn't say what. Just said they are looking for something. So it's going to sort of head back towards the uh, the north side of town before uh, before closing the video out. You see all the uh, little hotels. Uh, it's always great to see them open. It's a new hotel. It's called the Sapphire Hotel. It's a 43 bedroom hotel on the south side and that's going to be opening up very soon so the sapphire hotel so when that does i'll uh, have a bit of a look outside um, and just uh, give you a bit, bit of, a bit of a video on that one so yeah sapphire hotel is uh, one of the latest ones to open up which is uh, which is great so you still see how quiet it is and you see there's uh, there's quite a lot of police and presence now um, in that area. I think there's a couple of police cars and there's several unmarked ones, probably called Coast Guard and things. Um, still looking. So I think we're going to end the uh, this story of what's going on on the promenade between uh, sort of Central and um, South Pier. Uh, but the, uh, the place is crawling with the, the police and Coast Guard. So if I do find it out, I'll pop that in the description. Uh, the, uh, so uh, like I said, the, there's something big happening, uh, but um, at the moment it's unclear what they are they're actually searching for. Um, so yeah, until next time, hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give us a thumbs up, consider subscribing, don't cost anything to keep up to date with all the developments, what uh, is happening around Blackpool. And uh, yeah, until next time, take care of yourselves, and it's a, it's a bye from me.